What's up, everybody? Welcome to IGN Game Scoop. I'm your host, Damon Hadfield. Joining me this week, Justin Davis, Scoop. Jared Petty, Scoop. Sam Claiborne is here. Hey, everybody. We've got a great show for you this week. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about Jumping Flash. Ooh. Oh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> Jared's oh, so yeah. happy. <laughs> I love Jumping Flash. Of course you do. We're gonna talk about Day One DLC. But first, uh, let's perform a thought experiment. Okay. Ooh. Imagine, if you will, there's a fictional person who has never played a video game. Oh. And they are about to obtain every console that, is just, that has ever been released, but they can only get one game for each console. Oh, I, wow. So we're gonna help them decide. So what we'll do is we'll come up with a list of the one must play game on each console. Wow, this that's is, exciting. This is impossible. I don't, don't want to do it. Well, Where do we start? That's all the scoops we have for you this week, ladies <laughs> do, and gentlemen. Do they have friends? Does this person have friends? So. Uh, yeah, let's, let's consider this a normal person. Okay. They just haven't played. Games. All right, great. That be the twenty six hundred set. All right, there we go. So, can we're this looking person for like, like do they have any other powers? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is no. a normal person. Because if they can, okay, but they can make cons. Can they? Okay. No, they don't. They. I have they a lot get of questions consoles. about how this They'd person made these consoles. They, they have a rich uncle that dies and gives them every video game. Did he work at Nintendo? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's scary. That's scary. Yeah. That's my band. So the Nintendo looking, uncles. We're looking for the single brightest star on each console. Or and, are we? Because here's before, like, okay. like okay. if you pick the best game on each console, you might never get a puzzle game. Well, or... are you sure? I mean, this is what we have to decide. Oh. All right, here we go. Oh. I, I think it should be something with broad appeal, so like you're pretty sure. Oh, it's that's gonna... good. This all should only take a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let's get to it. What about the Atari 2600? Uh, are we going down the aisle here, Pitfall. or just I jumping mean, in? Just like uh, warlords. Those. Warlords. Yep. You have to Jared. have friends. Uh, if I, if I said, I think if you have friends, though, I like dodge them too. Yeah, dodge them's good. Dodge them's good. But with four pe four player warlords is still a blast. You can play that for hours. Okay, so over something like Pong. Yeah, totally. Or adventure. War or no, four, four player war the or Atari pitfall. 2600 warlords is better than arcade. Jerry, warlords. take a deep breath and think about adventure. <laughs> oh, okay. There is adventure. See, I don't yeah, I think adventure is super playable. Oh, oh, it's not playable I disagree. At all. But you I can disagree. break it in really interesting. No, no, ways. Level, level three of adventure is still playable because it has an infinite reset thing. So no one has. All right, I'll go with Warlords. Warlords or Dodge, for, Warlords for me. Oh. It, adventure would, is my favorite twenty six hundred game, but I think Warlords is more fun now. I would say Pong. So I, and, Pong was something I considered. I also thought combat because that has yeah. like twenty variations. <laughs> That's what they tried to sell you on. I mean, yeah. I, it was like twenty yeah. variations of one. <laughs> no, yeah. stupid combat game. with two people. Now the tank still... bullets ricochet around the around the map. No, combat with two <laughs> people is still fun. Like you yeah. have a good time. But Warlords of four people even more fun on the same. Are we gonna do an Intellivision now? Well, I don't know Intellivision. Snafu. Well, you know. Okay, Snafu. I thought Burger Time was good on Intellivision. Uh, uh, Burger Time's only good on NES and arcade. Yeah. What about River Raid on 2600? Uh, River Raid's still fun. Yeah. You can play. Yeah, it's not as good as these other ones we're talking about for okay. nowadays, but you it's still really good. Very confident that Warlords is the game. How did yeah, you, Warlords. So we, I think Warlords. We, we got in the interest of time. Warlords Adventure Phoenix. You have Phoenix to have good. three friends, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's let's assume he has three friends. Yeah. Or she. He or she. Yeah. All right, Warlords, a game that I'm not even that familiar with. Okay. Uh, NES. Oh, we're skipping the Intellivision. Yeah. Uh, okay. You can go, okay. What game for? I already said Snafu. Okay. Snafu is a lot of fun. I like. Uh, I really it's enjoy Snafu. Shark Shark. Shark Shark. Oh is yeah. Probably we the talked about Shark Shark. Yeah, okay. Shark I'll take really your word for it. I just found Shark Shark in my library. I, told, <laughs> I promised you I'd go look. See. Oh, did, I you, it's, it. did you play it? No, but two I people. That's great. I it's thought good. we would stick to the, the more popular consoles. So Coleco, ColecoVision. Yeah. No, I don't think we need to worry about Vectrex. Vectrex. Totally. Let's do NES. Is it Super Mario Bros. Three? Since it's the best game of all time. Yes. Yeah, that's Super Mario 3. That's a great one. You can play it forever. Yeah. I still play it all the time. Punch Out's another good choice for that. Ooh, just punch out's really good. And then yeah. The Legend of Zelda. Legend Those of Zelda. Are the oh, three. There can only be one, though. But I was thinking in like a weird Desert Island way. Also, Sid Super Meier's Mario Pirates. 3. No Sid problem. Meier's Pirates, my favorite game. Vest version's on the NES. That's the so. best version of the game? Yep. You always hurt your head when I say <laughs> that, but it's true. It's an incredible port. Okay. But any, you wouldn't I pick that over you. Super Mario Bros. 3. No, you? well, okay, it's my favorite game, but Super Mario 3 is probably, I don't know, that's hard. No, Mario 3 is the obvious choice. I'll be, so. uh, Mario 3 is great, but if you happen to love Pirates as much as I do, play Pirates. Uh, Family Feud, if you have friends. <laughs> You know, it's that not a bad version good? of Family Feud it's on there. It's so good. How long know. does it take you to see yeah. all of the all of the questions? I know yeah. you would never get through them all. That's not I, even <laughs> remotely <laughs> true. There's like 32 of them. They would repeat in the same game. <laughs> I, I have played Family no, Feud with my mother-in-law on the NES this century. Like it's, this, it's happened. Well, I'm always yeah. drunk when I play it, so I can't remember the answers. And I always, and if you play with somebody older than you, it's totally not fair because all of the answers are about uh, yeah. 80, things from 1988. <laughs> yep. And it's really hard. That's like our. No, but there are. 
like I remember it's based on survey. It's also based on survey responses. So it's like, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's these so top fun. five Iran Contra fair <laughs> questions. Yeah, yeah it's really, really fun. <laughs> it's a great game. All right. Uh, Sega Master System. Oh, that's great. Um, now, Levi Buchanan says, and I quote, if you want to have any sort of respectable Master oh, System collection, goodness. you absolutely must start with Fantasy Star. Okay, oh, I yeah. thought he was going to go with ALF. No, no <laughs> ALF's not actually good. It just looks good. ALF's really pretty, but it's Alf's not fun. Kid. It's just a joke, Jared. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Willie! <laughs> Uh, a lot of good masters. I think the yeah. answer to this clearly is Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, <laughs> on, on the master, master system? system? No, that version's terrible. It's incredible that it occurred. It though. is incredible that it occurred. Yes, it's it's a technical marvel. Um, no, I, geez, I've owned master systems. Fantasy Star is hard to argue with. It, yeah. It's it's beautiful. It's sophisticated. It's, it's also probably the only JRPG that's going to make it. So why what, why, why wouldn't we say Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior? What what's what's the Dragon Warrior like best? You're very passionate about this. What what's the best five, Dragon five, Warrior? Five, five is the best. Five, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not an NES. Yeah, it's not what's an the NES. Best one on NES. Best one on NES is probably four. Because Final Fantasy is really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, for, I like Final Fantasy one more than Dragon Warrior four, but Dragon Warrior four is a much more sophisticated. The NES game. is done. Yeah, we're done with the NES. Yeah. We uh, moved on. We've so Fantasy Star. Yeah, uh, Fantasy, Fantasy Star, Star is that's really good. So Sega Genesis. Oh. So um, here's where, uh, first of all, there are no good Sonic the Hedgehog games, so yep. I'm just going to full yep. stop on I that I think one. a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog games are great, and three of them are great on Genesis. There are, there are so in between you I two, think, there are some I'm going to say this is a curveball. This is our only opportunity to get something like probably Street Fighter or mm, Mortal yeah. Kombat or something like that in someone's game library. I think Street Fighter And is... I'm not necessarily saying that's the best game on the Genesis, no. but we'll sacrifice the console so that this hypothetical, this thought experiment gamer gets a fighting game in their game. Yeah. Those games okay. weren't that great on it, Genesis. No, I, they weren't. That's I the problem. Had, Blood. Oh, Genesis really Street Fighter is not good. Yeah, it it's, is. You it's want, like, it was a Come on, compared to what? SNES, it had six buttons yeah, at least? SNES was better. Okay, no, okay, no S, so did the SNES had six buttons too. No, yeah, you had to buy a, damn shoulders. You had to buy a special controller <laughs> just to play it. No, playing those games on the SNES was horseshit. You just bought a special controller on the SNES as well. People always make this argument about the stupid Genesis six-button controller. There were fighting game controllers on the SNES too. That's not an advantage Genesis. Is this, okay, hold on. Yeah, that's I true. Think, I think Justin's idea of including a Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat is a good one, but yeah. are there any other games? Oh, that General Chaos. Consider uh, General if Chaos. Yeah, if you're going to play a game on uh, on the Genesis forever, play General Chaos. I think someone's trying to get yeah. in. It's, There's uh, knocking in the studio. There is a, no, oh, it's, right. a, it's an EA kind of arcade strategy game, and it's really a lot of fun. I played General Chaos. I, yeah. I wouldn't pick that as the one game you absolutely must play. I think in a nod to Game Scoop's past, we include Earthworm Jim. Uh, <laughs> no, that game's actually good either, or, though. Or, or Booger Man. Uh, what about, is, okay, legit, though, what about uh, General Chaos went Gunstar Heroes? Gunstar Heroes, I think, is a totally legitimate choice. It's two players. Yeah. It's an amazing technical showcase for what the Genesis could do. Yeah. The way, every every diff, every stage is a different kind of amazing. I it was, might get uh, boring, though. Also, I was, oh, sorry. Oh, no. I was a Genesis kid growing up. Yeah, oddly, I'm drawing a blank between uh, any, like, just anything at all. Like, I, well, because I was a dumb kid, so I spent just hours playing Kid Chameleon and just stuff that was That wasn't. game's cool. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Comic two, two more to consider. Uh, uh, I played Musha. a lot of Vector Man. Uh, Musha, the Vector incredible Man. shooter on Genesis, one of the best shooters ever. And another one, we talked about Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star 4 is probably the best Fantasy Star oh, game, and it's on Genesis. Star, we already Jared. picked a Fantasy Star. Yes, but this all one's right, much so better. so we settled. It's Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> Well, so like, <laughs> what if we pick? What if we it pick? It could be Sonic Three. Let's pick Super Nintendo and then revisit Genesis. Yeah. Oh, okay. So on Super Nintendo, Link to the Past. Yeah. Act Razor. Mario, Super Mario World. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy Six. Link to the Past. I think was, Link to the Past is a good choice. Link to the Past is probably a better game, but I I would rather Super have Metroid. Chrono Trigger if Super I'm Metroid? if I'm stuck on a desert island forever. Chrono Trigger. It's not a oh, desert yeah, island. Oh yeah, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, really? I what Trigger. about Final Fantasy Six? Uh, I'd rather play Chrono Trigger than Six. I think, although like, I like. I think like Super Mario World is. It's Infinity. not Desert Island, though, but that's a good point because Chrono Trigger has so many different permutations yeah, and endings that you can work towards over a long period of that's time. True. Yeah, that's you can play Chrono Trigger a long time. But it's not time. a Desert Island argument. It's just like, well, one thing to play. Game. Yeah. Have we already covered off on Mario the Size Color with Super Mario Bros. 3? Yes. All right, so I mean, that world's, one world's real good. I would yeah. say either either Metroid or Zelda. Yeah, those okay. are those are the, the heights of that system. Probably Link to the Past, then. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm, well, not for me. Not for you. I would say Super Metroid. Hmm. The one must-play game. It's just I don't think Zelda's going to be on the list otherwise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going to be? Well, but then Metroid won't be on the list. I think I I, I almost feel like I enjoy playing no, Zelda. Will be on for I enjoy games. playing Zelda more, but I feel like Super Metroid is something you just kind of have to experience in life. Hmm. Um, Metroid. But yeah, That's I, what you're saying? I, I think yeah. Okay. No, I, no, I'm saying Chrono I mean, because we could get Zelda with N64. I'm on Zelda, possibly. and yeah. you're on Zelda too, right? For Super Nintendo. Yeah. No. That's probably what I'd pick. But you guys are saying Metroid. I'm saying Chrono Trigger. 
Oh man, we cannot. So it's you're Ralph this. Nadering me. I, I, yeah, Chance yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, are we actually both this? Right. Link to the past. Then you son of a. Bitch. Should Genesis be Street Fighter? <laughs> no, Kombat no, two? no. Genesis should not be Street Fighter because that version stinks. Then I think it should no, be Gunstar Star Heroes. Huh? I would accept Mortal Kombat. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> oh. It's a hilarious <laughs> dumb game. A B A C A B B. That has blood. There are a lot of good Genesis yeah, games. We can, pick, uh, we, we can pick Gunstar Heroes. Okay, uh, Gunstar Heroes for, for Genesis. TurboGrafx-16. Oh, right. Uh, did, American or not American? American. Okay, the American. TurboGrafx-16. No. Airsoft. Um, yeah. Wow. Airsoft. I was just going to say Airsoft. No, I'm, I'm thinking... Bomberman. You're going to pick Bomberman. Uh, what about... I'm going to pick Bomberman. Ease. What about Gate, Gate of Thunder? So Bomberman 93. Oh, yeah, Bomberman 93 is really good. It's amazing. Super fun. I think I yeah. can settle on that one. Uh, Devil's Crush. I would also maybe suggest Devil's, Devil's Crush. Devil's Crush. Devil's Crush. Because Crush. it's one of the best video pinball games, and pinball has wide appeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah Devil's, Devil's Crush is really good. Fun fact, Jackie Crush crazy. from Super Famicom, even better. Uh, Jockey Crush, which was only released on Super Famicom. Crush, are you Japan. like a horse jockey? No, no, Jockey, like a, it's get, a Japanese demon. Do you get paid every time you bring up Jockey Crush? It's, it's a good game, I love it. It's like Devil's Crush Plus. He's like, in the pocket of Big Jockey. Crush. Yeah, but no, what about, uh, you guys play Lords of Thunder? Yeah, or probably Gate of Thunder. Gate of Thunder, not Lords of Thunder. Lords of Thunder was on Genesis, right? No, they're both on Turbo Graphics. What was um, it, like Life Force? Was it's a shooter. One? Yeah, that's it's a genius. really good shooter. No, uh, there's one that's vertically scrolling that I can picture in my head. Oh, ver oh Lord. On the Super... Or on the, Turbo, there's yeah. like 20 vertical scrolling shooters on the uh, TG-16. Yeah. That's the problem. I think we... That's uh, a horizontal shooter I was talking about. I think, it's, I think it's Bomberman. Let's just settle. Bomberman 93. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's a great game. Because there's also pick... Saturn Bomberman if we want to cover off the Saturn that's, with that. Yeah, but there's... No, no. Saturn's going to be... It's going to be Radio Silver Gun. Bomberman 93 4? Uh, on 5 on the, on the Turbo Graphics. Yeah, okay. so that's great. Alright, Bomberman 93. Where does the fifth player You play start? after Warlords, and one person sits yeah. out. What about Neo Geo? Uh, uh, bust a move, too. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a fun game. Yeah. Uh, no, I was gonna really say Metal is. Slug, but yes. Win, you're win right. Jammers. Win jammers. Win jammers. I know you love Win Jammers. jammers. Win Jammers. I've never played Win Jammers. Win Jammers is so good. It's all about the control scheme. This uh, the giant bomb guys are always talking about this, but the it's it's all about the control scheme. It's about the it's switch a off you have to do with the right bust a move. It's That's a weird. This, it's not even close. I, he oh, loves Win Jammers. I, I he <laughs> implored me to play Win Jammers, and I've seen it now, and I understand it's interesting, but it's a little janky and weird. <laughs> it's and, so good. And bust a move is perfect. Is there yeah. not enough magenta and teal in that game for I, you? I love it. I just like I would what rather about, like, have King of Fighters or Samurai. Th this Shadow? person they just mm. lost their uncle. I feel like Puzzle Bobble is a much more <laughs> it's the back universally story. loved. Uh, Sammy Show Two uh, or oh, just Last Blade. Geez, last yeah, played, you've had a great so game. So Bob and Bob are little dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, I just, I don't think Bustin' Moose all that good. I, I'm not oh, a fan. come on. You son, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, You're unbelievable sometimes. I'm what so about sorry. the Atari Jaguar? Oh, uh, Tempest uh, 2000. Uh, uh, AVP or Tempest 2000, yeah, either of those. Um, I mean, those are very different games. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going, I like them both, but I'm actually going Jeff Mentor on that and going, yeah. going okay, Tempest 2000. Tempest. I'm, I'm going to say Tempest, I'm going to assume in later generations the shooter is going to sneak I think this yeah. person should take the, ja is it, or do they only own consoles? Like, do they have food? Because I was going to say, no. you could take your Jaguar and sell it for food. No, they have, they have that would be everything the first else thing they need get rid to live. Of. They just haven't ever played a video game, okay. but now they're getting every console. Tempest, but can only have one yeah. game. Tempest 2000. The original PlayStation. Oh. Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk 2. Or Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even think uh, about Symphony of the Night. Symphony yeah. for me. I mean, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear uh, Solid. I'm Jammer Lammy. No, probably yeah, not that I, one. I, I, I'm locked in this one. Symphony's my favorite PlayStation game. T Symphony of the Night, probably. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but that's great good, that though. we didn't choose Metroid then. Did we pick Metroid? Yeah. No, we chose. Uh, yeah, we picked Zelda. No, we picked Zelda. So, we okay, picked Zelda. So let's do let's do Castlevania. Right, so this guy may need to know what a man is and to find out about miserable piles of secrets. Yep. That's yeah. important. That's true. Uh, the Sega Saturn then. Uh, Radiant Silver Gun. Radiant hey, no, Silver. No, well, let's. I'm. Look. This is a crazy noise that's happening in our studio. Do you think here. it's pick, being picked up by the mics? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty loud to us. It's <laughs> Dear reader, let yeah. us know if you can hear the earthquake happening. Radiant Silver Gun is what happens when you learn that, like, like Jesus works at a development studio and makes shooters. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's, <sighs> it's so, so, so we're, we no, skipped no, over no, Sewer like, Sharks uh, potential on, oh. the, 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 on the Sega CD. That's an accessory. That's not its own okay. console. Yeah. Uh, you're you're gonna put Radiant Silver Gun over Virtua ah. Fighter 2. Absolutely. Yeah. Virtua Cop. Yeah. I, w I would okay. probably say Knights and Dreams. Knights is really good, uh, but you put me in a room what for about 10 Burning hours. I'll play. Also really good. Or or Guardian Heroes, who yeah. one of the best brawlers ever and that's made. Or, Guardian Heroes. Or we didn't Panzer choose Dragons. a fighting game. This is a good fighting game. Panzer oh, Dragon Saga. Panzer Dragon Saga. Or oh man, uh, uh, geez. One. 
What's what's uh, with uh, with Pepsi Man? Um, oh, what's it called? Marvel vs. Capcom. Fighting Vipers. And then like you're playing and Pepsi Man drops in. He's like, Pepsi Man. That's awesome. That's great. But still rated silver game. I would say Knights. Okay. Rated is a better game than Knights. I, I don't I like care. Knights, but... The Saturn was a disappointment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's so many good games on that thing. It's it such a piece of crap. But there's so many good games. Okay. Do you have a... Okay, Radiant Silvergun, then it's decided. Yay! Yay! In 64. <laughs> oh. Um, Could Mario be 64. Goldeneye. Ocarina. Ocarina. Mario 64. Uh, Ocarina Goldeneye, is, Perfect Dark. is an easy choice for me, but I was thinking like Mario 64, I think Mario 64. is such a, such a pleasure. The, yeah. I'm not going to fight against Mario 64. I'd prefer Ocarina, but <clears throat> I'm not going to fight against Mario hey, 64. Do you think we can get two people on Ocarina? Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I don't know. Can we get... Can we do that? Nah, I'll just go what do you think of Justin? You're, you're I think Ocarina is a better I game. Like, I like Mario 64 more, but if it, if it's like you only get one game, I'd probably pick Ocarina. Mm. So now, now we're tied. Wow. This would be the only Zelda game. No, not the no. only Zelda game. No, I'm going to swing vote to the. I'm going to swing to N6, to Mario 64. I'm switching to Mario 64. All right, we're all right, I'm going back to Ocarina. 100% of the votes. For well, Mount Rushmore of Mario 64. Mario 64. On the Dreamcast. Well, what about Mario Kart? We screwed up. I mean, that was the. No, Mario Kart 64 is not all that good. Dreamcast. That's Soul Calibur. I, well, let me stop you Ikaruga. there. He just mumbled Mario Kart 64 is not that good. Yeah, it's not that good. Just Battle Mode's no, really good. Battle Mode is the game's dead. broken. Yeah, I, I'm with oh, Jeff I, on I'm, this. I don't think it's that, I mean, like, it's not my favorite Mario Kart, but I just want to point that oh, out. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, I want to be clear. In the, in the realm of video games, it is a good game. In the realm of Mario Karts, there are several I would choose over it. Yeah. How about that? On Dreamcast, could be Soul Calibur, Crazy Taxi, Soul Calibur, Crazy Power Taxi. Stone, uh, Marvel wow. vs. Capcom 2, Ikaruga, but we already yeah, picked Radio Ruga. Ruga's on Dreamcast. I played yeah, originally on Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Mars Matrix, another great show. Yeah, Mars Matrix is awesome. Um, but, Border down. Uh, oh, uh, Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia. Is yeah. Crazy Taxi um, on that? Yeah, I mean, that's a possibility. So I would say not Ikaruga, since we already got Radiant Silver Gun. Yeah. I think we should make everyone who read our top 100 list angry by saying Soul Calibur. Yeah. Well, and it would be the only fighting game. Because and it it's is a great, it's a great one. fighting it's got a, game. And it's Weapons got a great like, single player game. mode. Oh, that was yeah. a yeah, launch game. title for that sucker. Blade, but okay, oh. okay. Oh, okay. But no, with Bushido. <laughs> oh, man. That game's so good. Yeah. Uh, what about Sonic Calibur. Adventure? Soul Calibur. Anyone? Nobody brought up Sonic Adventure. No. That's because the game's terrible. Yeah, it's really bad. It is. That's a bad video game. Yeah, you gotta go fast. PlayStation 2. Oh, wow. Um, this Shadow is of the Colossus. Yeah, Shadow. There we go. Vice, Shadow. Shadow. Shadow of the Colossus or Vice City. Um, I'm just going to plug my ears until we pick Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, okay. I'm, I would I'm not say Shadow stand. of the Colossus. You would not say or would you? I would not say. I what would, would say. you say? I would probably say one of the GTAs. So Vice City. Nah. I just figure we can let them They're play. They're all blocky and old now. But we, look, we can go ahead and let them play five. Or, or the, oh, can we sneak them a DS and let them play Chinatown Wars? But we can't let them play five because we're going to pick like Halo and stuff like that. Oh, Why? Oh, oh, what, for the, this generation? <laughs> Maybe. Why? I'm not picking Halo. Uh, there, another possibility on PS2 is Guitar Hero 2. Oh, that's fun. I, I still, I, I feel like Shadow of the Colossus we're giving them for an instructional purposes. Okay. It's like, it's kind of like those videos the Dharma Initiative left to tell you like what to do, the lab coat guy. Yeah. We're just like, hey dude, by the way, here's how you do it right. I think Shadow of the Colossus is a good pick. Okay. I can get behind that. GameCube. Oh. Sam thinks it's Metroid, Metroid Prime. Prime. Super, Metroid? Smash, Super Smash Brothers Melee. RE4. Resident RE4. Evil. Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Remake. Okay, I can get behind Resident Evil 4 if we don't do Metroid Prime. Over, over the remake? Over remake? Yeah, I don't Over like Resident remake. Evil Remake? You don't even like that? Oh. No. Well, there's I no played Met it, though. There's currently like no Metroid, zero. right? I don't like that. Out. There's currently no Metroid. There's currently no, no Metroid. Metroid. But we have Castlevania. Okay, I really like Prime, so I'm totally not arguing against that. Yeah. I like Prime a lot. Prime about, is first for You me. know what else I like is Rogue It's League. such a cutting edge, Rogue beautiful. Leader. Oh, oh yeah. Rogue Leader is really good. Super Monkey Ball. But I think, I think, I think Prime like is more Monkey important. Ball. Super I, Monkey Ball is a perfect video game. It's really, really Isn't good. That it is a cast? really great game. It is one of like, it's one, it's it one on of two games Game on this also. earth that I would not change literally anything about. What's the other? What's the Super name Metroid. of the mini game where you roll your ball down the ramp and then you launch yourself and then you open? Monkey Target. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. We played so much of that. It's like Burnout with monkeys. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a little You're bit. You're not crashing. That doesn't even make any yeah. sense. Yeah. There's still a little guy flying, you know, except the monkey. So not Smash Brothers. I uh, like Smash Brothers. Not no. Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, I, love I love Double that Dash. Game. But again, I, I think either Fusion or RE4. That's, that's where Prime. I go. All right, did I say Fusion? Oh, gosh, Resident Fusion. Evil 4, no, yeah, Fusion, no. Metro Prime. 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 Super Monkey Ball. Not Fusion. Resident Evil 4 and Metro game. Prime are just like two of my favorite experiences I've ever had in my entire life. I agree, I agree. They're so good. Mm -hmm. I'd probably go with RE4. Does anybody have a coin? Over Metroid Prime. I would say Metroid uh -huh. Prime. If that's the vote between the two. Okay, so you're... Yeah, so are I, we tied? I, I, who I'll, votes Resident Evil 4? Oh, who, who goes Metroid Prime? I'm going to go Prime. Uh, I guess I'll go Okay, Prime. all right, Metroid Prime. All right, I love On them the both. Game 
It's good I feel, to have first I feel good about that too. In there. What about the original Xbox? Oh, um, Halo Two, wow. Phantom Dust, nah, uh, Phantom Dust. Phantom Dust. <laughs> that would be a good I one to do. I you all chuckle. If and you no, want a no, GTA, they, did, they made better versions of uh, GTA on the Xbox. Crimson Skies. Crimson Skies was so good. Oh yes, I want a Crimson Skies game. I'm pretty vanilla on this Halo Two. There's almost nothing I want more on this earth. Yeah, the Crimson than, Skies sequel. Uh, than a Crimson Skies. Like, you reader. sold Justin. I'm with you on this. Yeah, uh, forget Halo Two. Uh, wow, I had Crimson Skies and it didn't grab me like that. Oh wow, I love Halo that Two is really good. It depends on what we're going to pick for 360. I, again, I, I don't but care I if react. there's a Halo game on this list. I, I hear Halo oh. games are awesome, but they, they tend to either be great, like, okay story mode and great multiplayer, or, I don't know, Halo 2, that stupid plant, man, I never forgave that thing. It's like, yeah. ugh, I don't know. All right, so you guys like Crimson Skies. How do you feel about Crimson Skies? I've never heard of that game. It's mm. a fight, action, combat. You'd game. like it. It's like Rogue, it's well, like Rogue Squadron. That I short. love Rogue Squadron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd actually really like it. It, it, had one a, it had a really oh, interesting space world. Combat? No, it's atmospheric. Um, it had yeah. this really, really cool world and story with kind of a Nathan Drakey hero before that was a thing. And yeah. uh, it was, it, for me, it was, I think it was the first game I ever played on Xbox Live. Yeah. It, I think it launched with Xbox Live the year after the Xbox I got one. I got one. Which one? I got two. The guy game. The guy game, yeah. And Psychonauts. Nah. Yeah. Okay, Psychonauts. Jeez, wow. Ooh. But the one must-play game on Xbox. Crimson Skies. It's not Halo 2? It's no. Halo, it's it's Halo probably 2. Halo 2. No. It's gotta be Halo 2. No, forget y'all. It's, it's Crimson Halo. Skies. Right, I'm changing my vote to Halo 2. Xbox is Halo 2. <laughs> Xbox 360. Gears of War. Gears of War. I like Mass Effect oh, 2 wow, best. Crackdown. I like Mass Effect 2 best. Crackdown. Crackdown was really fun. I mean, would, Crackdown's my favorite. I would already so wear the Mario 64 on there. <laughs> it's also GTA 5. GTA, I would say GTA 5 or a Gears game. So here's the problem with GTA 5, or which Call is... Oh, 4. wait, no, Red Dead. Jeez, Red Dead. It's also Red, Red Dead's Dead. great. Um, GTA 5 is great, but now we have an even better version of GTA 5, so it's hard for me to go back. Yeah, but then you we, can't pick Jared, Witcher. Jared, we could or... upset this right now with Bionic Commando Rearmed. Okay, that... Wow, we could. Shadow Complex. Shadow Bio Com Commander rearmed over Shadow here. Complex is a terrible version of Bio Commander rearmed. Pac Man CE. Yeah. Uh, that's being really good. Yep. Super Meat Boy was a great game on. on How are we going to settle this game? Damon? Not the one. You gave some of these games a 10. I would well, say. I gave one of these games a 10. <laughs> okay. My one pick would probably be Red Dead. Um, if, we're gonna, if we're looking for consensus, I can go with Red Dead. Uh, I could do that too. Uh, not Modern Warfare 2? No. no. Not. Why 2? Chuckle. I just think that was better than no. the first one, wasn't it? Am I wrong? People liked. Yeah, Modern Warfare. Uh, a controversial suggestion, Minecraft. Um, I th my problem is I was spoiled by the PC version. Like, mm -hmm. if we were talking about a PC game, I'd be much more on board. I okay. agree. Then Red Dead we like, uh, not Halo 4? No. no. I mean, it's fine. But Red Dead I, over Mass Effect 2. Maybe only because Red Dead's more of a standalone Red Dead just it, Red Dead was w pulled off the cinematic game thing better than almost anything I've ever played. If I was you just like, three go with Red Dead, I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna go with Mass Effect too. Okay, oh, okay all right. Fair. Red Dead then is for Xbox 360. PlayStation Three. Uh, Uncharted Two. Probably Uncharted Two for me. PlayStation. Oh, 3. I like Uncharted Three better than Two a lot wow. better. Oh, this is hurting my. I like head. that desert scene. It's really pretty. But I like other games for PlayStation Three. Gosh, so many good games. Desert scene's stupid. Flower. Uh, yeah, there's also Flower, there's Journey. 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 Mm. I, I really, really liked Flower. I'm probably going to say with Flower. Uncharted 3 with a kid at the beginning? Flower. I would, yeah, see, this is a hard one. I would <laughs> legitimately rather play Flower than Uncharted 2, but I understand the other perspective. There is Flower's also, in the Smithsonian. There's also The Last of Us, although that's also remastered on PS4. Yeah. The farther I get from The Ma Last of Us, the less I want to play it again. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I have a lot of good memories that of it. That winter scene, though. Some of that's yeah. deliberate, though. Like, it's stressful, so. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a scary movie. I agree. Yeah, it's re I mean, it's a masterpiece in, in many ways. So I don't want to Two votes for Uncharted 2. Okay. I, I'll say Uncharted 3 and, and suck it up with Uncharted 2. I don't know why you guys like that game so much. Yeah, I, I, I think Three it's did okay. everything better. It was great. It's a good I also feel like I'm story. forgetting something. Like, somebody's probably shouting at their like, screen right now. One of uh, well, like, you know what? They can get their own show. <laughs> I think they're, they're shouting about Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh, well, yeah. I'm just they kidding. Could, I, don't, yeah. I don't think anybody's shouting about that. No, well, There's three. Also, I mean, three would actually be up there for me, though. Like, that was on PlayStation 2, though. Was, but There's wasn't subsistence really good? Skyrim and Portal 2. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Portal 2 is pretty good. Should on. we do Portal 2? I'd two? probably go on the PlayStation 3. The one ah, must play yeah. game on PlayStation 3, I'd probably say, is Uncharted 2. Yeah. Mm, I agree with that. I'm on the flower journey end of it, but sure. What, what about, about Portal? We uh, missed well, again, Portal is a game I played on PC, so I think of it as a PC game. Um, what about Paris? Well, yeah, okay, get, that's true. Yeah, I mean, if they're it. not going to get to play it, then Portal would would trump. That's true. Portal would trump. What about original Portal Box. available on? It's on the Orange Box. PlayStation Three. Orange uh, Box. Yeah. Did the Orange Box? That was the best cheat yeah. for lists. 
That was always our cl classic cheat, just to yep. say, say Orange Box. Yeah, Mass yeah. Effect Trilogy. Why don't we just say the Orange Box? <laughs> yeah, we could Mass do that. Effect Trilogy. Exactly. For PlayStation 3. <laughs> The one must-play game on is, the PlayStation is 3 is the Orange Box. <laughs> I would rather play that than Uncharted. <laughs> or Flower. I okay, think it's that a that's, a, that's going on. against the spirit of the exercise that we're going through I think right so, now. too. I think okay, so it's too. Uncharted 2. It's Uncharted yeah. 3. Move on. Uh, the Nintendo Wii. Oh. Um, Sports. There's Mario so, Galaxy. Uh, Mario Galaxy is way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Little King Story. Um, Super Paper Mario is also good. Boombox. Uh, Boombox is actually good. I uh, recommend it. There's really a, there's it does great things on the Wii. Um, Zack and Wiki. Xenoblade Chronicles last story is really good. Um, mm -hmm. But no, I, I think Mario Galaxy or one or two. Oh, 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 out. I got it. I what's got it. Going to be Resident Ninja Evil. Resident Evil Four. Oh, that's a really it's good version. It's the definitive of RE4. version of it. It's a beautiful game and it deserves attention on the. On that this, is a really good point. I can't oh, because we picked Prime for yeah. GameCube. Okay. Yeah, RE Four on the Wii is great. It's I can't. So well, I want to say I came to the conclusion recently that Twilight Princess is very underrated. Yep. Well, it I is, just played it again. I, I didn't want bad. Sam to call me Twilight Princess it's again. The, it's got the best. It's probably got the best Zelda dungeons. Oh, wait, uh, are you coming like out for Twilight Princess? Because I am hooking up with this right now. Because that's my favorite. The intro. Game. I'm not. I'm not forgiving the intro. Like it's mm -hmm. too long, and yep. the wolf sections are too repetitive. But like everything else about, about that the game, game is incredible. Is great. Yeah. I. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't have an open Twilight world. Princess. I'm with. I'm with Justin. No, on I, this. I still it, vote it doesn't have an open world. Though. No. Like no. It. Jump in it here. It doesn't have an open world. We have a Twilight Princess faction right now. What are you talking about? You just run through little areas all the time. That's all you do. You're describing Zelda. What are you talking? No. The first Zelda is an open world game. What we're talking about is is Twilight Princess the one must play game on the Nintendo Wii. Absolutely. Oh my god. No? What do you vote for? I would vote, I mean, it sounds like Resident Evil 4 is, uh... Yeah, I'd go for that. Resident Evil 4 or right. Okami. How about something on Virtual Console? I would say Mario Galaxy is a great choice. Yeah. I would say RE4. Alright. So Resident right, Evil sure. 4. That's, I get it. Wii version. What about Wii U? Um, Mario Maker. Mario Maker? Mm -hmm. That's a good pick. Over 3D World? Yep. Or Mario Kart 8? Wind all, they're all great, but Mario yeah, Maker is the Wind Waker nothing is like too. Mario Maker, like That's anywhere true. else. Plus, it's just infinite supply of Mario levels to yeah. play. Yep. NES Remix. That's not oh, that's not really the good. One. Oh, that's a great game. Although, that does cover off on all these NES games that you missed, which is kind of cool. I, I bought a Wii U for NES Remix. I, I'm, picking, I'm picking Mario Maker, but I actually think Mario Re Remix is a great pick. Yeah, Mario Maker. That's fine. All right. Mario Maker on Wii U. Now... PS4 and Xbox One are tough because mm -hmm. we're like in the middle of, of, of those consoles' lifespans. But do either of them have Resident Evil Four on them? <laughs> we could do. We it's could just one do, game today. We could do. So I think some of the best games from this gen have been Dragon Age Inquisition, mm -hmm. Witcher Three, mm -hmm. um, Metal Gear, GTA yeah, Five. Metal Gear. They're just on both systems. GTA, and GTA Five. So I would probably recommend Metal Gear on PS4. Yeah, and The Witcher. I, I would do the same. I think I like GTA Five or more Xbox than one. well. I I got a little bored with Metal Gear actually. I found it repetitive, and I don't. I actually don't know how people spend a hundred hours in it since you do the same or thing 200. over and over. Because the th that one thing is fun. Yeah, no, I mean I don't know. It, there's no reason for it to be open. There's you know, no benefit you do to that. The same uh, thing because I have a dog with an eye patch, and I have an eye patch, and we yeah. match, and yep. sometimes we dress the same. You revisit. I don't like. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about that game. Like you revisit the same areas over and yeah. over. And then I'm like, oh, for, I remember this place. Yeah, for the sake of exclusives <laughs> and, and things that represent one concept, what about uh, what about Bloodborne for PS4? Uh, see, I, I couldn't. I haven't played Bloodborne. I couldn't get into the Soul series. I, I think mm. a different crew would probably pick Bloodborne. I yeah. won't pick it. Okay. These are tough. The current gen consoles are really tough. Why but do we have to back away from this generation so far to see what actually stood out? I don't know. I mean, I think that's, that's just... It's kind of sad. I would personally say Dragon Age and Witcher. Those would be my two picks. Let's just choose Fallout because we can. Um, we don't know anything about it. We can still choose it. <laughs> Ask us again next week. Oh, we didn't even really bring funny. up Fallout well, 3 for our last I, I'm, I'm leaning toward... I'm leaning toward... Um, or Skyrim. But toward got kind of GTA 5, uh, Witcher, and Metal Gear 5. I mean, those are kind yeah. of... Uh, if I if I can't help you, I Metal Gear. Okay, I'm, I'm Metal Gear Five. So we got that one for PlayStation. Yeah, it's just totally one. arbitrary. I the one. Yeah. Um, so you want Metal Gear for PlayStation and Witcher for Xbox? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. I'm playing Witcher on Xbox. I actually don't know if the PS4 version looks, you know, better or anything mm -hmm. like that. But I it's totally it fine. Xbox. It's totally playable on Xbox. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yep. What a cool game. And there you have it. What the about one PC. I said the one. The headline is the one must play game on every console. Ah, I can't yeah. believe we did that all in under three minutes. Under three minutes. Still holding up for ColecoVision. Well, Plus twenty seven. It's Ladybug on ColecoVision. That is a really good version of Ladybug <coughs> for home, especially considering when it was made. 
All right, let's check in with listeners. Hey, listeners. What's hey. up? Listeners, remember you can always reach us at the email address, gamescoop at IGN.com, just like Rodney from Toronto did. Rodney oh. Dangerfield. And... Is Rodney Dangerfield? No. Nope. He never I got any Hey, respect. I have the Rodney Dangerfield board game. It's called No Respect. Is, is that, that real? Is that, real yeah. thing? is that a thing I, that I can exists? bring it in. Can, can we, we play it? Play? It's, it? All the cardboard pieces inside were never punched through. Like, nobody Man. ever played it. I love ridiculous tie-in board games. I used to have this, uh, well, we talked about this, the old Centipede Atari board game, though. It was amazing. Yeah, I have that one, too. Rodney yeah. is anyway. also the uh, the uh, owner of the skate shop in uh, Skater Day. My uh, scoutmaster growing up was Rodney Bobak. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> this image that's just popped up behind us was actually intended for our previous discussion. Okay. So, Sean, we do have uh, an image for this discussion. And Rodney from Toronto says, do you guys think that the PS1 classic Jumping Flash would be a great reboot franchise. <laughs> I personally find that as far as pixelated early 3D games go, this one still plays well and is just plain fun, as compared to dumpster fires such as, say, Siphon Filter, Whoa. that don't even Whoa. have analog control. I really like this guy. Uh, Rodney, Rodney well played. Wait, well, uh, I, I, what kind of early pixel game did he call it? He just uh, called it pixelated early. early 3D game. Okay, so if you want, if you want to, if you want to sell video games, the the pixelate, you know, Jump and Flash is not a is not a name that's going to move many copies. What but, is Jump and Flash? Can the, we explain this to like everybody? Who doesn't know launch that. game for the PlayStation. Is, was yeah. it a launch? Yeah, it was a launch game. game. Yeah, launch game. yeah. Wow. Or very very early. Yeah. What it's are you a doing? Very it? early 3D platformer that had the camera up above you, and mm-hmm. then you would jump. From platform to platform, sort of very slowly. Like yeah. Do you remember the style? Do you remember the Almost. cat the cat demo Not for really, the 3ds? No, you would jump way in the air. But the camera's high up. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the jumping 3D Sounds demo boring. for the 3ds? It's not. It's actually really good. Yeah. Uh, it's well designed. The yeah. jumping so wait, 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 what demo? Rodney, like the jumping cat demo for the 3ds. I like thing. jumping flash. I have an appreciation for jumping flash. I don't think it's an appropriate remake candidate. I think that. What if they made it to a gritty first person shooter? Yeah. No, I would totally play like I, Bomberman. No, I think there were more mechanics to explore in Jump and Flash that could be really interesting. It's the kind of game I'd love to play. I, I like. I Damon, love that do you idea. know this game? Do you like it? I I never played this game, but I will now read to you from IGN's review of Jumping Flash. <laughs> is there a poem? from November nineteen ninety six? Wow, that's early IGN. This is its. This is IGN's review verbatim in its entirety. It's only like three <laughs> sentences long. Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! What a great game. Sorry, it's just hard to compose yourself when talking about a game such as Jumping Flash. That exclamation point's not just for show, buddy. This is one slam-bang great game. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that Jumping Flash is a great genre-pushing game. It does tend to be a little easy to be a little easy at some points, and the worlds are a little small, but these are minor drawbacks. If you own a PSX, no, scratch that. If you're alive, you should own Jumping Flash. Damn straight, 7.5. Whoa! No, it's, uh, no the Jumping Flash is a good game. It, I gotta say, totally that does read like a 7.5. Yeah. If you are alive, <laughs> you play <laughs> this game yeah. 7.5. 7.5. <laughs> it's no, good. It's, it's, it's an evol- <laughs> you know, that, that kind of top-down hopping thing, I don't think it's been played, out, played with enough. There's a lot of stuff you can do who, with that. Who wrote that? It's Ijin staff. I have a yeah. new game. You can Prime start. Robella. You can start bringing on excerpts from the your the, the, the days of you know, past in IGN. You read them and we try to guess what game they are. It and was, what score it got. It was, yeah. That was probably... Uh, that was, was before That might have been, a, that that might have been a database repair joke. Yeah. Yeah. Might we be. lost a lot of articles and uh, in, during various waves of IGN's history. And sometimes <clears> people went in and... and Did Nick just go that, in that and write fake Mix's, reviews? That might Not have marked Nick's mitts all over. Woohoo, what a great game. <laughs> uh, there are two sequels to Jumping Flash, mm-hmm. I believe. Yep. What were they called? I don't know. Did Jared no, I've only played What would you imagine they were called? Jumping Flash nine. 2 and 3. <laughs> Sit <and> still. <laughs> Sit <and> still, Flash. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I'll play the first one. Email comes from Isaac. He says, My question will take a second to explain. Okay. I'm sorry about the length. I was reading the review of Diablo 2 on IGN from 2000. Wow. The reviewer didn't give the game a perfect score or a score above 9 because on day one there was a patch. And to quote the review, it says, The first thing that blares in my mind and made me a bit wary of problems in the game was that the first day that the game was released, there was a patch out for the game. Um, yeah, you shouldn't need to download a patch right off the bat. <laughs> Isaac continues, in modern games... That was a dark up, future that was predicted there. <laughs> if you load up a brand new game, immediately an update is downloaded. Yeah. The, the day is a future patch. Ah, That's really good. Boo! Oh! The statement that no, a game... I'm sleeping right now. Uh, 
has gone gold, it's not really important anymore since most games have an immediate update that fixes their finished project, product. 15 years ago, this wasn't accepted. Maybe reviewers should start bringing down scores on video games that require this. Why? Do you think reviewers should dock points for things like day one DLC or updates, which are nearly as large as the entire video game on their own? Uh, no, I mean, day one patches suck, right? But I mean, the reality of like the game is finished has to be finished, sent off and printed, you know, six weeks before it comes but out. But that wasn't a reality f six years ago. But I'm just it? saying, like, they can spend those six weeks fixing issues. Like, so why not do that? There's two, there's two counterpoints. One, I feel like I spend my entire life updating s software updates and game updates, and I can't just play video <laughs> games, I'm always updating. The second thing is a shocking percentage of these consoles still aren't online. Like... Like, people yeah, don't I mean, have online connections for oh, yeah. consoles. So I always wonder, like, how many to. people are playing unpatched, you know, yeah. Witcher 3 or whatever, like, whatever game. Like, it's got, you know, it's, it's over, it's in double-digit percentage of people just don't get these patches. No, I think we, we, I think we put up with more than we probably should. We, we've developed uh, maybe an unhealthy tolerance to what people are, are willing to hand out to us. Not just day one patches. I think about the Red Ring of Death and the tremendous number of 360s that just didn't work, that broke very quickly, and how many I've watched people go through. And to an extent, I think it's fair to say that maybe, people maybe the press so. let Microsoft off the hook for that a little bit, not because of any kind of horrible... Only Damon is working here on the time, yeah, the, 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 so he's the press. And I'm not talking about some so kind of like secret conspiracy. tell him you let the people yeah, down. I'm not talking about secret conspiracies. I, I'm talking about the, the fact that we all just wanted to play the games. We were excited about the tech. But gradually over time, these broke and broke and broke. And by the so, time, we just accepted it. We kept I, buying I, it. Maybe I, we shouldn't have. Let me, there, that's an interesting uh, you know, story to tell. But like honestly, that's all people talked about when that... That was that was yeah. We talked about it, but we kept buying them. Well, we I didn't, didn't keep, keep buying them. Journalists, they, they named Microsoft. their podcast here after the Red Ring of Death. <laughs> like, <laughs> the one thing yeah. people knew about the Xbox was that it had that it broke, yeah, I think, and yeah. that it had great games. Everyone wanted to play it. I think that's a little revisionist too, because I I had a Red Ring of Death, and then Microsoft sent me a free Xbox. Uh -huh. like you still had to everybody. keep well, getting, you that's, what, that's what happened to everybody. We're talking about that as if that's okay. That's not okay. They shipped the entire world broken well, products that they had to replace. Okay. Shipping <laughs> something that worked. But they didn't know it didn't work. Are you sure? Well, but I mean, come are on. You, are like, are you, they sat there conspiracy? and just like, well, we don't care if it works. We're going to ship it anyway. I, I hey, think hey, well, that I, 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 I really agree with your sentiment, but I don't think that's a good example. No, no. We are, we, I am hearing three people argue the same insanity I heard in the middle insanity. of it. Insanity. Yeah. It, it's accepting this as something that's okay. So, that's why I waited so long to buy an Xbox. But it caught, Microsoft spent a billion, so, like over a billion dollars. But you just said a lot of, I waited a long time to buy an Xbox, Like, too. what's yeah. their end game? Yeah, they're rubbing their hands together. We're going to ship a broken console. It's not the end game. It's the beginning game. We're not being careful how we build this, and we're going to ship it anyway. Oh, it doesn't work. Whoops, that was a big screw up, but now it's going to cost us a lot of money. Yeah, and it is going to cost a lot of money. For it. No. I, I did no. they pay for it. Yeah. That's it. Check uh, this out though, Jared. They're not winning this console cycle. Well, I'm not a, I'm not anti Microsoft. No, but, 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 is yeah. that because people don't trust their hardware? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think I'd it like is. Think it. And I think it's because they don't trust the uh, Connect and, and and paying extra money to get that's the Connect. That's fair. Okay, that that's that's a whole other argument. No, I think hardware really matters to people and that that is a situation in which people stop buying a system because of hardware. So, Jared, what do you say to the question, should game reviews dock points for day one updates? That, well, that's not really how game reviews work. Uh, we don't I dock think points. we should. Well, now, I was going to say, that's my problem is the dock points statement. I think they should mention it. I think they should mention it. And they, just like Justin said at the beginning, it sucks. And I think it's okay to say, hey, there's a huge patch on this, and it sucks. And we ought to put that in the review. You know what's crazy is Nintendo used to have a policy of never doing that through the Wii. Mm. So while, while uh, and not just day one patches, any patches at all. So while the PS3 and the Xbox 360 had constant updates and DLC and patches, uh, Nintendo was very resistant to that and said, no, our game's code will be finished and tested properly and will always work. And even if there was an issue, they would not patch it. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was an interesting stance. And now they are on the patch a, train yeah, and they have day one patches all the time. Yeah, yeah they, they patch as much or more often than everyone. Yep, mm -hmm. they have Twilight day one. Princess had a show-stopping bug where if you saved in the wrong spot, you couldn't leave it. You mean Skyward Sword? Yes. Yeah. I was, I was, I thought I ran into a bug in Metal Gear last night, and I was doing research trying to figure out. Uh, it turns out I hadn't. But then I, that was the first time I read that bug that if you took Quiet on Mission Twenty Nine with you, your save file just got corrupted. Oh yeah, no <laughs> oh, yeah. fun. It was yeah. just like, yep, yeah, nope, you chose the wrong buddy to take on this mission. Now your save file's corrupted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, it took them like two weeks to fix that. That was on one console, released. right? Not all of them. Yeah. No, I think it was on every console. And they issued a patch on PS4 and PC, but I don't know if they ever issued one for Xbox One. But That's crazy. crazy. But Rodney's making me rethink how I write my next review. Thanks, Rodney. Uh, that was Isaac. Oh, that was Isaac. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's Rodney too.
I'm so terrible at everything. Uh, last email this week comes from Danny in New Zealand. Oh. Hey guys, still loving the show. You're pretty awesome. Thank After you. all these years? My question is a hard one to word. I've talked, I've heard you talk about a single system future, and I was wondering what your thoughts are on the possibility of consoles, our future PS5s and Xbox 2s, being shipped with their basic specs, and as technology develops, the company's producing spec-enhancing expansions, like PC has with graphic cards and the like. Do you think this is a possibility over having an entirely new console uh, generation? That's, that's People have tried it, and so far, it's never worked well. Talking about like the N64? Um, I'm talking about the N64, I'm talking about the TG16, or the PC Engine in Japan, which was effectively like this, this Katamari of, of hardware that you just kept plugging in to make the thing more powerful hey, through yeah, generations. You know what else did that? The uh, NES. Because now. games had chips in them that expanded the capabilities they, of yeah, the system. The cartridges itself. had the extra. The cartridges yeah. did. And then that's when it did work. And on the now NES, that they're yeah. away from that, it's, 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 you would have have to make some kind of additional add-on, but if we went back to cartridges, I'm just saying everything would be okay. Yeah, that's that's right. And the NES, the SNES did that. Even the Genesis did that on Virtual Racing, um, yeah. and it worked in all this. What's funny about the N64 expansion pack, which is you know the era that I mainly you know was gaming heavily as a teenager, was I thought that made games like expansion pack games looked so good. Like Majora's Mask looks so much better than Ocarina, you know, because it required I don't the, the expansion difference. pack. But now in hindsight, they look exactly, like now that we have the distance of time, I can't tell the difference. Okay. Well, like, what ends up happening but when, when you're in the moment, I'm like, oh man, this frame rate and this draw distance, and like I would put the expansion pack in and it would But remember up. for that and for other examples that we would all share, you have to still make the game work at this one way and then look better at this other way and that is the problem there were really with something tangible, like that. I think in Perfect Dark you could have more bots in multiplayer if you had the expansion pack. Perfect Dark with the expansion pack had significant differences. Yeah. yeah. And and you end up splitting your market because you, yeah, you do that's, it. That's, that's what problem. I was getting at. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Well, but if the game still runs on the old hardware you don't technically split your market. Like That's the ideal way to do it. That would be it's the just, idea And then that it. limits how much you can adjust. Right. So you can adjust things like more bots, you can adjust graphics, but you can't make a, you know, like a generational leap. Right. There's accusations of... Because one game will always be super nerfed. Right. So many games coming out on last gen and next gen, has, the, the accusation is that it nerfs the current gen it version. It holds them back. It nerfs the Xbox One and PS4 version because, yeah, they look prettier and have better particle effects, but they can't go absolutely crazy... Right with their game design and systems because it eventually has to work on the previous gen Which well. leads to the temptation to make a clean break, but then you end up with a Tower of Power. You know, you end up with a Genesis with a CD with a 32X all plugged in together in each other, and it's just it's this game nightmare. Game. Yeah. Sonic and Knuckles. Well, they, Sonic and Knuckles in the Game Genie. They made a special power adapter to what put under, weird, tall under the Tower of Power. Well, you had to plug all the components in separately. Yeah. So Sega made a power bar that you put at the bottom of the Tower of Power uh, that it sat on just that you could plug everything into. and. Made it even taller. I had two power strips for my Jay Sega 32X CD setup. You had a 32X CD setup? Oh, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. I played Star Wars Arcade wow. on it. Wow. <laughs> that game's not bad. It's good. Before we go this week, it's time for Video Game 20 Questions. Ooh. Our suggestion this week comes from, comes from Alexa. Don't screw us, Alexa. Oh. Everyone knows how this works. You have 20 yes or no questions to guess Alexa's game. We only game. need 10. You only need 10? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> you may begin. <laughs> Did the game come out before January 1st, 2000? Yes. Did the game come out before January 1st, 1990? No. I was just trying to think of something other than the normal things we, we asked, <laughs> but it just works so well and I want to win. Uh, is, is, this on a, uh, um, is this on a Nintendo platform? Yes. Did you hear we actually came up with the 20 questions hack that we had to ban? Were you in that one? Mm -mm. Where uh, we started narrowing it down by letter of the, like, does it start with does it letter start A to M? Should I do and it? And then, then splitting it, splitting it. No, it made it too easy, because you can narrow it down to the exact letter in, I think, four or five questions. Did, oh, man. Did maybe we should we just start doing, like, Wheel of Fortune. We always start with the same questions. We just give the first five letters, you know? I don't know. It's, okay, well, let's go. It's a 1990s anyway. game on Nintendo, Nintendo platform, Nintendo. but we is didn't it, see if it was exclusive. Yeah, is it exclusive to a to Nintendo platform? Yes. Okay. Is it a 64-bit game? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Why did you... Just, just making sure. Just making sure. Covering, yeah. on, covering all my bases. Is it on <laughs> Super <laughs> Nintendo? No. Oh, man. Oh, it could be Virtua Boy. It's, no, it's totally Killer Instinct in the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on so, a Nintendo platform, you said. Yeah. So there could be... So is, it, is this a handheld game? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, it still could be Killer Instinct. I just want to point that out. Let's see. Uh, is this a... 
Oh man! So we got one of Nintendo's handheld Wait, but platforms. it might be sixty-four bit. You had to think about it. Yeah, well, no, I, I told you. Cool. I decided it's not. Okay, yeah, it's not. You shouldn't have to decide. But I, um, I took so a moment to think, it's and I decided no. Advance. Yeah, it's probably it could be a Game Boy game of any kind. It could no, be, Game uh, Boy because he didn't it's, know it's if it was sixty-four bit. No, it's not 64-bit. Like, but he had to think about I it. I said it was not a 64-bit game. Is ask this game displayed in more than like one before. spectrum of color? Uh. You, could just <laughs> ask, you could just ask if it's on Game Boy or not. Well, it could more be virtual. than one spe- I don't understand the question. Okay, like, is this different tones of the same color palette? Or, you know, that's what I'm asking. Does like, it have full color? No. Yeah, there we go. All right. So it's on, it's it's on, on virtual, Game Boy virtual or Virtual Boy? Game Boy. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Um, is it it's a Virtual Boy game? No. Okay. So it's a Game Boy game. We have one more question. Yeah, what's <laughs> <laughs> uh, was, Game Boy Is game. this a first party game? Uh, yes. Okay. That's 10. Okay. Donkey Kong Country on the mm-hmm. Game Boy. Oh, that's a terrible game. Is this <laughs> a, cool a Game Boy launch title? No. Uh, it's Donkey Kong, did they call it Donkey Kong Land? It's from yeah. the 90s, Jared. Huh? Isn't Game Boy, no, I guess 1990 would kind of No, it was 89, right? I just screwed up. Burned a quest. Uh, you only needed 10. I, until you join, dude, <laughs> stop your bickering because we know it's a first party Game Boy game. Yeah. There's not that many. Yeah. It's probably, there you are wrong. Um, well, but I mean, <laughs> it, it's probably Kirby There's or something. So many. Is, there, is it a platforming game? No. Okay. What was it? There's a Clash, right? Is that a Game Boy game? Did I just make that up? Clash. Is there a game called Clash? I don't know. Um, okay, so I non. Mean, it's not platforming, so it's not Kirby, Mario. Non platforming. But it could be First Zelda. party could Game be, Boy game. Could be a puzzle game. It could be. X, it could be... Yeah, is um, this a puzzle game? No. Okay. Could still be Zelda. Um, is this game what themed... Puzzle game would it is this game themed after a familiar Nintendo Tetris. character? Uh, do you mean But at that's the time, before 1990. You gotta focus. Today? Hmm? Oh, crap. At the time or today? Wow. We've had two Game Boy questions about 1989 already. Uh, I didn't ask about 1989. We asked the puzzle question. Oh, there are a lot of puzzle games after that, though. That Nintendo made. Dr. Mario. Um, also, yeah, Yoshi's Cookie. Yeah, Yoshi's Cookie. Mario's Woods. Yeah, yeah there's okay. actually a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> there could have been those. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. So, let's see. Nintendo character from the night. Oh, man, this Wait, is what hard. Was the, what was the character? It's not a platformer. It's, uh, well, I asked if it was familiar to Nintendo character, and he said, from when? And I was like, so I'm not sure what that means. Like, is it a forgotten Nintendo character? It's Donkey Kong 94. I mean, that would be amazing. But that's, that's like he that's didn't a say puzzle it's a puzzle game. or a platformer. Yeah, right? that would fit one or the <laughs> other. Is the main guys. character a uh, human? Yes. Oh, that's helpful. Link's not I mean, human. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the, is the main character doesn't necessarily mean most popular character. Mm-hmm. Just keep that in mind. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> this is so confusing. What other Game Boy games were there? There are so many. Uh, there's a huge... We're, we're absolutely blowing this. i got to think about the right way to approach it. Um... Just would name some Game it's Boy not games. A pla- it's not a platformer. It's uh, not Link's a... Link's Awakening. It, it, not a puzzle. You know, Metroid yeah. 2, Mega Man. Could mm. be. That's a platformer. Yeah, but that's first party. Metroid's platformer, too. Yeah. Um, it's not a shooter. Most, oh, there are a lot of shooters on there, too. Nintendo even did first party shooters. Uh, is the game set... It, should we say the Kirby, space? Kirby's space? pinball. Yeah. But he's not human. Yeah, Kirby's not a person, so it's not... Unless it's Kirby with somebody. He had his animal friends for a while. No, but you're a human. Yeah, you're right. So we don't know anything about the genre, right? No, we, we know it's not a platformer. We know it's not a puzzle game. That's it. We probably need to, to go genre. Is, should we ask about sports? Sometimes that throws us oh, off. Oh, that's true. There's a ton of first-party sports games on Nintendo. Yeah, but there's, game a, Boy. there's like baseball. Yeah, but that was 89. Um, Are we screwing up? Do we know it's a Game Boy game? Uh, we know it's a Game Boy game because yeah, it's monochromatic it's and it's not a virtual board game and it's you first know, it's party. First-party Handheld Nintendo game from the '90s that's not in full color. It's Game and yeah. Watch. I mean, it could be they did reissue Game and Watches in Japan for a little while. It could be that. They um, came out. In the just so you guys know, I would not pick a Game and Watch game. It would be too confusing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great. Let's see. Uh, oh wait, if it's the main character. Like, oh wait. Um, well, it could be Mario and Donkey Kong like in the same game. That would make Mark like. There's a couple of games they appeared in. Jumpman. But are they platformers They're, or puzzle no. games? Well, I mean, '94 I would count as a platformer. Yeah, it's a platformer. Like, yeah. Um, I haven't heard you tell me one Nintendo game that even matches any of these criteria yet. One. Um, what, what are we looking for? Like you talking a, about a first-party Nintendo game on Game Boy that's that stars a human that's not a platformer or a puzzle game. Well, that's why we're playing Twenty Questions. I, I know, but like you should at least say, "Oh, there's dozens that could." Is, I can't think of any. Uh, there's some. What are they? I'm thinking. Uh, think out loud. I, <laughs> does, do you catch monsters in it? Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Boom. 
Mark. See, I just had to sit back and think <laughs> while you guys argued. <laughs> Justin, shout at Jared some more. Yeah, yeah, that was a chance great. to think. That worked out My so well. My next question was going to be, is it an RPG, Danny? Never. Yes. Yeah. We don't need to use I these it's anymore. It's going to be, I know. I Did it come out in multiple colors? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have not guessed the game yet, though. But yeah. which one okay. is it? Yeah, uh, do you... Is uh, it the original? Well, uh, do you get to choose Pikachu as one of the characters? Yes. Well, so it has to be a, yellow. Yeah, he's oh, wait, Damon's wrong. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, it's the is original. It Pokemon, it's Pokemon Red, Red, Red and Blue. Yes. Okay. It's Pokemon yeah. Red and Blue. You can't choose Poke Pikachu in that one. Yeah. yeah. You don't pick him yeah. till yellow. He's not even in the in the game. He's no, not he's one of the starters. You can't the original choose him. were yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have Squirtle to catch him. and. Is it just because he became popular after? Yeah. That yeah. Game it's because of the TV show. Yeah. Okay. And we have an article on IGN right now in a video which you should check out called 10 Things yeah. You Might Have Forgotten About the First Episode of Pokemon. And one of them is how, how adorably uh, overweight Pikachu is. He's like He's a really little fat round, fat, episode, fat well. mouse mm -hmm. in it. Jared, I'm sorry I yelled at you. That, no, no, it needed to be done. <laughs> I just, cause it I needed to be done. <laughs> I just couldn't think. I'm like, if you no. have games well, racing through your head, I didn't want to just start shouting a bunch of games because that just confuses things. Like, like I mean, it's I, like, I was really clever to say, like, well, just because it's the, it has a main character that's a human doesn't mean it's the most. Well, I was thinking character. it might be some kind of yeah. It was, that right. was a really confusing question for you to answer because it was like, is this a yeah. popular? That's why I was leaning RPG. I was like, there's there's a few places that could go and Pokemon. But the, the question to ask then is, is this a series that's still around today? Yeah, that would be good too. And then we ask, is it based? Unpopular like Nintendo properties. It's like well yeah. at the time it wasn't, but now it is. So yeah. I didn't know how to answer that one. Well, they became popular very quickly though, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. By the time they were, it was a new property. Based on it, is a weird way. Like to it say wasn't it. like unfortunately it's Mario or Zelda. Unfortunately, or I took it the other way around. I was like, oh man, it must have been something that was popular then. I got a good one we diminished. can use next time. Would you count this as a triple A game in the year it came out? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's yeah. kind of hard to. I mean, was it? So. Yes, yeah. totally. Triple A handheld games? Is that even a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe Craig Harris is crying somewhere right now. <laughs> I'm not sure Single Pokemon was AAA when it came out. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon became AAA almost instantaneously. Right, not America. the original. Pokemon so, Red and Blue was developed by Game Freak, published by Nintendo in 1998. Yeah. It, it blew up It blew up within weeks. It had single and weeks. multiplayer modes. It took two yeah, it had years the, link, the Game Boy Link cable. Yeah. The Game Boy was almost oh, a so decade old. Oh, so we could have asked old. multiplayer, yeah. <clears throat> almost a decade old when that thing came out. Yeah. Uh, it was 89 for the Game Boy. So yeah. it's just, That's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe you actually referred to Pokemon as monsters. That's really, really short-sighted of you. Pocket the monster. You asked, asked him the if question, he cast monsters. monsters. No, they're yeah. your friends. The in, in uh, every in, character, every person in conversation in that game points out how they're friends. Well, is that series still called Pocket Monsters in in Japan? Japan? It is in in still America is. because of Monster in My Pocket. They they're like no no they disavow all knowledge. But in Japan, kids would be like Pocket the monster, you know, all the time. Okay. Yeah. Sounded like Dracula saying that. That was cool. Blah! One! One Pikachu! <laughs> one fucking monster! Two Pikachu! Being real racist ah, right ah, now. Ah. Great game, everybody. That's all the scoops we have for you this week. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Sam. Remember, you can always reach us at the email address, gamescoop.igen.com. My name is Damon. This is IGN Gamescoop, and we're out. Thanks, Damon. <laughs>